hot air balloons, the bare bones of flying. Ever since the dawn of time, man has wondered how they can soar through the skies like the bird on the wing. On the wing. Hot air balloons were their answer. Hot air balloons were easily the first type of flight ever used. There are many different ways to build a hot air balloon. I will explain a few of them. Way number one, putting actual hot air into the hot air balloon. This works because hot air is lighter than cold air. However, with a hot air balloon, you lift about a thousand pounds, so you need a lot of hot air. Hot air balloons work by the fact that hot air is lighter than cool air. So, if you can trap enough hot air into a balloon and you don't have too much weight in your casket, then the hot air will eventually be able to lift your balloon off the ground. Each cubic centimeter of hot air inside the hot air balloon lifts about 7 grams. So, in order to lift a thousand pounds, you need a very large balloon. The second way to build a hot air balloon is to use hydrogen. Hydrogen is a gas that, while being very light, is also very flammable and dangerous. Hydrogen is more often used in blimps, not hot air balloons. Hydrogen, unlike hot air, is an element on the periodic table of elements. It is also very inexpensive, unlike helium. Third gas used for flying balloons is helium. Helium is most likely used for not large balloons, but small balloons at birthday parties and such. Helium is very safe, and very few people have ever died because of helium accidents. But it is very expensive, so they can't use it as much. It is also an element on the periodic table of elements, and it is also lighter than air. There are three basic parts of a hot air balloon. Number one, the burner. This is used to heat the hot air inside the balloon so the balloon can eventually lift off. Number two, the basket. This is used to hold the passengers and the cargo. The cargo usually weighs about 1,000 pounds. Number three, the balloon. This is what hold the, holds the hot air and is the large majority of a hot air balloon. It takes up the most space. Hot air balloon works by one simple fact. Hot air rises. A balloon traps the hot air inside itself. However, since a hot air balloon weighs a lot, one little piece of hot air can't lift it. You need a whole ton of hot air. One cubic centimeter of hot air lifts about 7 grams, so to lift a 1,000 pound balloon, you need a lot. It is easier to launch a hot air balloon on a cold day, not a hot day. Although the burner heats the hot air to about 220 degrees Celsius, 390 degrees Fahrenheit, it's easier to launch a hot air balloon when the air is 60 degrees instead of 110 degrees. Air rises when surrounded by cold air. If you have hot air surrounded by not so cold air, it might not work as well as it originally would if you're surrounded by really cold air. Historians have confirmed the fact that there were hot air balloons in China. However, there is a question as to whether China is the first place to have hot air balloons. Some people think that hot air balloons were first used by the Nazca Indians to map the incredible plane they were. When hot air balloons were used in China, they were used as signals. Eventually, a toy came out where you could make an eggshell float by making a fire under the eggshell. The Montgolfier brothers invented the first modern hot air balloon by building a balloon and putting farm animals into it. The first hot air balloon to ever carry passengers was invented by Pilatre de Rosier and Francois de Arendas. The first modern balloon was invented in 1960 by Ed Yost. Ever since then, balloons have been used for recreation. There are about 7,000 hot air balloons operating in the United States at one time. However, they were never and will never be used for commercial flights because you cannot control which way they go. 
Here is a movie clip showing my failed attempt at making a hot air balloon. After this, I will show you a real hot air balloon festival where they have many hot air balloons, all full of advertisements. Definitely showing up, it's been really cool. Well, the colder is what makes it Thank you. 